the next problem before us is in a triangle ABC tan A is to tan B is to tan C is equal to 2 is to 3 is to 4 then what is the value of secant square C yes one thing is uh, given here ABC are the angles of a triangle isn't it therefore what do you have a plus b plus c is equal to 180 as and when you look at a plus b plus c is equal to 180 we have sigma tan a is equal to pi tan a what i mean to say is uh, tan a plus tan b plus tan c is equal to tan a into tan b into tan c okay 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 uh, some information has been given about tan a is tan b tan c what is that but tan A by 2 is equal to tan B by 3 is equal to tan C by 4 is equal to some K say. So, what is tan A? 2 K. What is tan B? 3 K. What is tan C? 4 K. Let us substitute this in the first equation. First equation implies tan A plus tan B plus tan C is equal to tan A into tan B into tan C. What is tan A? 2K plus 3K plus 4K is equal to 2K into 3K into 4K. 2K plus 3K plus 4K is 9K. 2, 3s are 6, 6, 4s are 24, 24k cube. You can cancel 3k. You have 3 is equal to 8k square. Or k square is equal to 3 by 8. That is k is equal to plus or minus root 3 by 8. Plus or minus 2, 3 by 8. You see, what is tan A? 2K, isn't it? Tan C is equal to 4K. What do you want to have? Secant square C. What is secant square C? 1 plus tan square C. 1 plus 16K square. 1 plus 16 into what is k square? 3 by 8. 8 goes away. Of course, 2, 3 are 6. 6 plus 1, 7 is remained. What is the answer for second square C? It is 7. It is 7. That is it. The next problem. This problem is also given with a lengthier information. You follow the sentences carefully. Two adjacent sides of a cyclic quadrilateral are 2 and 5. The angle between those two adjacent sides is 60 degrees. If the third side is 3 centimeters, then the fourth side is. So, cyclic quadrilateral, it has four sides. Three sides are already given. What are they? Two adjacent sides are 2 and 5. And the other side is uh, uh, 3. What is the fourth side? That he is asking. Okay, let us try to represent this entire information in a diagram. Look here. Let me imagine this to be the cyclic quadrilateral. The two adjacent sides are 2 and 5. The angle between them is 60 degrees automatically this angle will be 120 degrees why should it be that is the basic character of a cyclic quadrilateral that is uh, this can be inscribed in a triangle in a circle isn't it so that uh, these two angles will become the angles in the opposite segments so they are supplementary and 60 degrees and 120 degrees uh, moreover one more side is given let this be 3 let this be x what is required here? We just want X. Okay, let me name it. A, B, C, D. 
What is required? X is required. That is the fourth side is required. Uh, well, how can we calculate, uh, calculate X? We consider in triangle ABC AC square is equal to 2 square plus 5 square minus 2 into 2 into 5 into cos 60 degrees. B square is equal to C square plus A square minus 2 C A cos B like that. This is equal to 25 plus 4 is 29 minus 20 into what is cos 60? It is half half and 2 can be cancelled so that it will be come on friend how can it be this is 4 plus 25 29 20 minus 10 is 19 isn't it 25 minus 10 is 15 15 plus 4 is 19 you keep it at a side therefore we have got ac square is equal to 19 let me call this equation 1 you see, AC is a side in the triangle ADC also, isn't it? Again, from triangle ADC, AC square is equal to, come on friend, x square plus 3 square minus 2 into x into 3 into cos 120 degrees, correct? I could have made use of the same cosine rule. Yes, of course. D square is equal to 3 square plus x square minus 2 into 3 into x into cos 120. Well, my idea what is cos 120? It is minus half. So, this is uh, x square plus 9 minus 2 3 star 6. 6 into x is 6x. Cos 120 is minus 1 by 2. So, that uh, this is uh, x square plus 3x plus 9. This is a c square and this is also a c square. You, you equate these two or as from this a c square is 19 and from this a c square is this or 1 comma 2 imply x square plus 3x plus 9 is equal to 19. Bring that 19 here. x square plus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. Implies x plus 5 into x minus 2 is equal to 0. Isn't it? Therefore, x is equal to minus 5 or x is equal to 2. You look at that, my dear, x is equal to minus 5. Can it be possible? It is uh, the length of a side of a cyclic quadrilateral. It cannot be negative, isn't it? Therefore, x cannot be negative. Therefore, x is equal to 2 since x is positive. So, you must be able to get the idea of making use of AC. You must be getting that idea. Then only by equating them, we will be having x. It's a nice problem. You follow that. The next problem before us is, a square and a rhombus have the same perimeter, but their areas are in the ratio 2 is to 1. Then, the ratio of the diagonals of the rhombus is, that he is asking, ratios of the ratio of the diagonals of the rhombus is asking. The information is very simple. There are two diagrams, square and rhombus. The perimeters are same. Areas are in the ratio 2 is to 1. Areas are in the ratio 2 is to 1. Ratio of the diagonals of the rhombus is required. Let us try to have. What are the, what are the diagrams which have been under discussion in the present problem. One diagram is a square A, 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 A and the other diagram is a, a rhombus, is a rhombus. Well, what is a rhombus? Rhombus is just nothing but a parallelogram with all equal sides, with all equal sides. Okay. Let me let me uh, compare the areas 
in these two. Here the area is a square, no doubt. Here the area is, just a minute, let me draw a rough figure here. Imagine that this is a rhombus. Let this be the angle theta. Let this be the altitude h. This is a, this is a. If you draw a diagonal like this, this is one triangle, this is another triangle. Area of this triangle plus area of this triangle. Half into base into height, half into base into height. So, A into H is the area. But, what is this H? What is sine theta? H by A, isn't it? So, what is H? A sine theta. Hence, it is A square sine theta, where theta is the angle between two adjacent sides of this rhombus. Okay? Area is A square sine theta. Let this be theta. By the way, how can you believe that uh, length of each side of the square is equal to length of each side of the rhombus? Their perimeters are same. Let this be a, perimeter is 4a. Let this be x, perimeter is 4x. 4a is equal to 4x. So, that a is equal to x. That is, uh, length of the side of the square is equal to length of the side of the a rhombus. That is why I have taken both A, 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 A like that. From data, area of square by area of rhombus is equal to 2 is to 1. What is the area of the square? A square. What is the area of the rhombus? Just now we have seen A square sin theta is equal to 2. From this, a square can be cancelled so that uh, sin theta is equal to half. So, theta is equal to 30 degrees. Theta is equal to 30 degrees. Well, this angle therefore becomes 30 degrees and these are the two diagonals of the rhombus. You see, in a rhombus we know that diagonals bisect each, bisect each other at right angles. So, this is angle 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Well, my dear, this is theta. This is 15 degrees. This is also 15 degrees. Okay. From this, what is cos 15? Cos 15 adjacent side by adjacent side by hypotenuse. What is the adjacent side? This side by A. Therefore, this side is nothing but A cos 15. Let me call this diagonal D1. Let this be D2. This is D1 and this is D2. D1 by D2 is equal to D1 by D2 is equal to what is D1? This length is A cos 15. So, total length of the diagonal is 2a cos 15, 2a cos 15 and automatically d to d2 is nothing but 2a sin 15, 2a and 2a will be get cancelled, cos 15 is root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 and sin 15 is root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2, 2 root 2, 2 root 2 can be cancelled. If you multiply with root 3 minus 1 on both numerator and denominator, you will be having root 3 plus 1 whole square by root 3 plus 1 into root 3 minus 1. Hence, it is root 3 plus 1 whole square by 2. What is root 3 plus 1 whole square? 3 plus 1 plus 2 root 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 by 2 is 2. Hence, the answer is 2 plus root 3. What is the ratio of the diagonals? d1 by d2 is nothing but 2 plus root 3 is to 1. Beautiful problem it is. And to solve this question, you must be possessing, you must be having a commandable knowledge about the diagonals of the rhombus, area of the rhombus, in terms of the angle between two adjacent sides, etc. and the properties of a rhombus. In a nutshell, to say the ratio of the diagonals, the required ratio of the two diagonals of the rhombus is 
2 plus root 3 is to 1. That's it. That is the main question. It's a good question. The next question. In a triangle ABC, 2 delta square is equal to A square V square C square by A square plus V square plus C square. Then it is. He is giving options. Equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, right angled triangle, none. That is he is asking. Those are the options. Let us uh, verify. It is a, a, a famous question uh, rather than the importance. Uh, it is so familiar. It is uh, so familiar in so many examinations. Uh, yes. Please uh, uh, follow this very carefully. Let us start from the beginning. What is that? 2 delta square is equal to a square b square c square by a square plus b square plus c square. Therefore, 2 delta square into a square plus b square plus c square is equal to a square b square c square. Therefore, 2 delta square into a square plus b square plus c square is equal to in the place of ABC, I like to write 4 R delta. In the place of ABC, I like to write 4 R delta because R is equal to ABC by 4 delta. 4 delta. In the place of ABC, I can write 4 R delta. So that delta square and delta square can be cancelled. So that we have a square plus b square plus c square is equal to, it is 2, it is 16 r square, so it is 8 r square. It is 8 r square. Good. What is a square? a is 2 r sin a. So, it is 4 r square sin square a plus 4 r square sin square b plus 4 r square sin square c is equal to 8 r square. Well, you can cancel 4 r square, 4 r square, 4 r square of course two times. So, that we have sin square a plus sin square b plus sin square c is equal to 2. Good. I like to write cos square a as 1, sin square a is 1 minus cos square a plus 1 minus cos square b plus 1 minus cos square c is equal to 2 is equal to 2. I can cancel this 2 also with the 2 once. So that you have so that you have what do you have cos square a plus cos square b plus cos square c is equal to 1 is not it cos square a plus cos square b plus cos square c is equal to 1. Well, you please observe these steps. Look here, cos square a plus cos square b plus 1 minus sin square c is equal to 1. Cancel this 1 implies cos square a plus what is cos square b minus sin square c is nothing but cos of b plus c into cos of b minus c. Good. Implies cos square a minus cos a into cos b minus c is equal to 0. Why? Because a and b plus c are supplementary. a plus b plus c is equal to 180. Hence, cos b plus c is equal to minus cos a. Isn't it? Okay. I like to take cos a as a common factor. Cos a into cos a minus cos of b minus c is equal to 0. Well, my dear, with the same logic again, cos a into, I like to write cos a as minus of cos of b plus c, minus cos of b minus c is equal to 0, is equal to 0, good. Again, I like to multiply with minus 1 on both sides so that you have cos a into cos of b plus c 
into cos no plus cos of b minus c is equal to 0. Yes, we could have almost reached the climax position of the answer. Why? Because you see, cos of b plus c plus cos of b minus c is 2 cos b cos c. 2 cos b cos c into cos a is equal to 0. That is cos a into cos b into cos c is equal to 0. That is either cos a is 0 or cos b is 0 or cos c is 0. That is either a is 90 or b is 90 or c is 90 degrees. Hence, the triangle is a, a right angle to triangle. That is all the part is that is remained. Well, I think you could have understood this. I like to remove the first two steps again to write those steps. By using uh, formally from transformations cos A into cos B plus C plus cos B minus C is uh, 2 cos B cos C is equal to 0. Of course, 2 can be cancelled on both the side, no problem at all. Therefore, either cos A is equal to 0 or cos B is equal to 0 or cos C is equal to 0. Therefore, A is equal to 90 degrees or B is equal to 90 degrees or C is equal to 90 degrees. So, if any one of these happens, then triangle ABC is right angled is a right angled triangle, right angled triangle. That is it about the answer for this question and from this also we will be having a beautiful result from a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 8 r square implies triangle ABC is right angled is right angle. Another beautiful result we can keep in our mind. If at all a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 8 r square, then and there itself you can you can recollect that uh, triangle ABC is a uh, surely right angle. This is of course the essence of this problem. In order to create this one only we could have we could have discussed with this problem. Not only that, it is a useful result. As in when you have a square plus b square is equal to 8 r square, then there itself we can conclude that triangle ABC is surely right angled. Yes. The next problem under discussion is in a triangle ABC, in a triangle ABC, what is the value of sigma 1 minus tan b by 4 by 1 plus tan b by 4 into 1 minus tan c by 4 by 1 plus tan c by 4. What is the value of this? This is equal to how much? This is the question. He is asking what is that? I look here you imagine this to be some theta 1 minus tan theta by 1 plus tan theta is nothing but tan 45 minus theta again this is also 1 minus tan theta by 1 plus tan theta is again tan 45 minus theta let me call this some k say what is the value of this that is the main question i am interested to suppose it by some k Come on, what happens to k? k is therefore equal to sigma tan pi by 4 minus b by 4 into tan pi by 4 minus c by 4 is equal to sigma tan y tan z where for the sake of brevity and for the purpose of saving space, I would like to name these angles x is equal to pi by 4 minus a by 4, y is equal to pi by 4 minus b by 4, z is equal to pi by 4 minus c by 4, pi by 4 minus c by 4. Good. If you add these two, add these three, 
x plus y plus z is equal to pi by 4 plus pi by 4 pi by 2 pi by 2 plus pi by 4 minus of a by 4 plus b by 4 plus c by 4. What is a plus b plus c? Pi. a by 4 plus b by 4 plus c by 4 minus pi by 4, isn't it? Minus pi by 4. So, that pi by 4 and pi by 4 will be cancelled. x plus y plus z is equal to pi by 2. Come on dear, you please recollect the answers from the famous trigonometric identities. If x plus y plus z is equal to pi, then tan x plus tan y plus tan z is equal to tan x tan y tan z. And if x plus y plus z is equal to pi by 2, then tan x tan y plus tan y z tan z plus tan z tan x is equal to 1 is equal to 1. I think you could have recollected it and it is not impossible. It is very, very easy. x plus y is equal to pi by 2 minus z. So, tan of x plus y is equal to tan of pi by 2 minus z that is cot z. So, tan x plus tan y by 1 minus tan x tan y is equal to 1 by tan z. If you can cross multiply what happens? Tan z into tan x plus tan z into tan y is equal to 1 minus tan x tan y. If you consider all the tangents to one side, you will be having tan x tan y plus tan y tan z plus tan z tan x is equal to 1. This is 1 since x plus y plus z is equal to pi by 2. You look at that, how beautiful and how useful that supposition is. We could have got the answer directly just because we could substitute x, y and z corresponding to these three angles respectively. And moreover, you, you understand the style of adding x plus y plus z is pi by 4 plus pi by 4 plus pi by 4, 3 pi by 4 minus a by 4 plus b by 4 plus c by 4 minus of a by 4 plus b by 4 plus c by 4 is nothing but a plus b plus c by 4. But a plus b plus c is, is, is pi. So, pi by 4. Hence, it is pi by 4 plus pi by 4 plus pi by 4 minus pi by 4. When pi by 4 will be cancelled, leaving you pi by 4 plus pi by 4 is just nothing but pi by 2. That's it. So, the answer for this question is 1 is just one. Of course, this is the beautiful and useful piece of data. Unless this is given, we may not be in a position to arrive at this conclusion. Yes, and it happens in the case of a triangle only. Yes. Well, the next question is before us. It is one of the simplest questions. Even though the question is simple, we, my artists are, we are supposed to consider it. Uh, why? Because it is very important and famous. Well, come on. Uh, in a triangle ABC, ABC you are in AP. ABC you are in AP. So, given that ABC you are in AP, what can you say about that? 2B is equal to A plus C, right? Okay, you keep it in your mind, in your mind, we shall be using as and when it is required. Come on tan a by 2 is s minus b into s minus c by delta plus s minus a into s minus b by delta into delta by s into s minus b. Let me take s minus b by delta out as a common factor so that you have s minus c plus s minus a into delta by s into s minus b. Delta will be cancelled, s minus b will also be cancelled. Therefore, this is s plus s, 2s minus of a plus c by s. What is 2s? What is 2s? What is 2s? a plus b plus c. a plus b plus c minus of a plus b a plus c is b by what is s 2b by 2s again 2b by what is 2s a plus b plus c you see a plus c is nothing but 2b 
this is the occasion at which we are supposed to use the information which has been given in the data. A, B is your and A, B. Therefore, A plus C is equal to 2B. Hence, this is 2B by 2B plus B is 3B. Hence, it is 2 by 3. So, what is the value of this? 2 by 3. Is it available in the given options? It is surely available. What is the right answer? 2 by 3 is of course the right answer. The next problem is, in a triangle ABC, A square minus of B minus C whole square is equal to delta. It is the information given. Delta means the area of the triangle with usual notation of course. That what is tan A he is asking. Look here. Let us first make use of the condition given in the data. Here, delta is equal to a square minus of b minus c whole square. That is a plus b minus c into a minus of b minus c. That is equal to a plus b minus c into a minus b plus c. This can be taken as 2s minus 2c into this can be taken as 2s minus 2b is equal to 4 into s minus b into s minus c. Isn't it? Therefore, 1 by 4 is equal to s minus b into s minus c by delta. You could have recollected the formula regarding tan A by 2, tan B by 2, tan C by 2. What do you say about this? It is just nothing but tan A by 2. Tan A by 2. Tan A by 2. Yes. Okay. So far, we have had tan A by 2. It is not enough for us. We should have tan A, not tan A by 2. So, please follow these steps. So, previously we could have got that tan A by 2 is equal to 1 by 4. But you see, we want to have tan A but not tan A by 2. What is tan A? 2 tan A by 2 by 1 minus tan square A by 2. It is one of the famous formulae. Well, in the place of tan A by 2, we can make use of 1 by 4 by 1 minus 1 by 16. 1 by 16, isn't it? Okay. This is 2 by 4 is 1 by 2. I multiply both numerator and denominator by 16 or rather this is 1 by 2 by 1 minus 1 by 16 is 15 by 16. 15 by 16. Now, you multiply with 16 on both numerator and denominator, it becomes 8 by 15. It becomes 8 by 15. So, what is the value of tan A? It is uh, nothing but 8 by 15. That is it. Good. In a triangle ABC, R1 is 3 and S is equal to 4, then what is cos A? You do not ask me why, you just consider 4R cos A by 2, cos B by 2, cos C by 2. 4R root of s into s minus a by b c root of s into s minus b by c a root of s into s minus c by a b. Am I right? This is equal to 4 r into s into s into s root s into root s s root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c by b into b b square a into a a square c into c c square root of a square b square c square is a b c 4 r this is delta this is a b c we know that a b c is equal to 4 r delta implies is not it 4 r s into delta by in the place of a b c you can write 4 r delta. So, that 4 r 4 r delta and delta will be cancelled. So, what are you having here? Yes, to throw certain light suitable light 
suitable focus on this result only I have taken up this problem. So, if you consider this, uh, this is nothing but S. Therefore, we could have got a beautiful formula for S. 4R cos A by 2, cos B by 2, cos C by 2. Yes, this is of course the strongest weapon in our hand of course to solve this problem. So, you please keep in mind that uh, small s can be written as uh, 4r cos a by 2 cos b by 2 cos c by 2. Yes. Have you noted this? This is now the right time for us to tackle with the question. We need this to make an attempt. We need this to proceed properly. That is why I could have got this result in the beginning. I have thrown the certain light on that topic. Yes. Well friends, we could have got a beautiful result for S that is 4R cos A by 2 cos B by 2 cos C by 2. Well, you observe the style of uh, procedure. You please don't ask me why in the beginning. You just consider R1 by S. What is R1? 4R sin A by 2 cos B by 2 cos C by 2 by 4R cos A by 2 cos B by 2 cos C by 2. This will be cancelled leaving you tan A by 2. What is R1? 3. S is 4. This is nothing but uh, tan A by 2. Tan A by 2 is equal to 3 by 4. My dear friend, without doing the previous thing also, we can solve this question. Why? Because R1 is uh, 3, isn't it? Therefore, S tan A by 2 is 3. S is 4. 4 tan A by 2 is 3. That is tan A by 2 is equal to 3 by 4. This also you can do. But you see, by preserving the result, S is equal to 4 R cos A by 2 cos B by 2 cos C by 2 is useful. For that purpose only I have solved it. Okay. This also you can have to obtain tan A by 2. Now, we have got tan A by 2. But the actual thing required is not tan A by 2 but cos A. We now find cos A. Therefore, cos A is equal to 1 minus tan square A by 2 by 1 plus tan square A by 2. We could have had a beautiful formula. Hence, it is 1 minus 3 by 4 whole square is 9 by 16 by 1 plus 9 by 16. You multiply with 16 on both numerator and denominator. 16 minus 9 by 16 plus 9, it is 7 by 25. So, what is cos A? 7 by 25. The crucial thing here is you must be able to have tan A by 2. There are two styles of getting tan A by 2. One is R1 is as tan A by 2, that is 4 tan A by 2, 4 tan A by 2 is 3, so tan A by 2 is 3 by 4, it is direct. And the other is you can use S is equal to 4 R cos A by 2 cos B by 2 cos C by 2. A new formula, it can be used as and when it is required. By making R1 by R, all sign, all of uh, cos b by 2 cos c by 2 4 r will be cancelled so that uh, r 1 by s is equal to tan a by 2 that is 3 by 4 is equal to tan a by 2. By making use of tan a by 2 we can get cos a using the formula 1 minus tan square a by 2 by 1 plus tan square a by 2 that is 7 by 25 is the right answer. The next question is ready for us. In a triangle ABC r is 1 R1 is 7, capital R is equal to 3, then triangle ABC is, first option is isosceles triangle, second option equilateral triangle, third option a right angle triangle, fourth option none. These are the options given. Let us have a check over that. So far we have 
we have gone through so many problems in which small a small b small c and capital a capital v capital c are only involved here after there are some more problems in which the different radii r r1 r2 r3 and capital r are involved in that trial this is the first problem look here we know about r r1 minus r what is r1 minus r what is r1 4 r sin a by 2 cos b by 2 cos c by 2 minus what is small r 4 r sin a by 2 sin b by 2 sin c by 2 let me take 4 r sin a by 2 as a common factor what are you going to have cos b by 2 cos c by 2 minus sin b by 2 sin c by 2 this is nothing but cos of in the format of cos of a plus b so that this is 4 r sin a by 2 into cos of b by 2 plus c by 2 that is b plus c by 2 but b plus c is 180 minus a 180 minus a by 2 is 90 minus a by 2 is nothing but sin a by 2 therefore r1 minus r is equal to 4 r sin square a by 2 from this step we can have sin square a by 2 is therefore equal to r1 minus r by 4 r what is r1 7 what is r1 what is capital r 3 7 minus 1 is 6, 6 by 12 is half. Sin square a by 2 is equal to half. Therefore, a by e is nothing but sin square 45 degrees. So, a by 2 is equal to n pi plus r minus 45. But you see, a is an angle of a triangle, you see. Therefore, a by 2 is equal to 45 degrees. Implies a is equal to 90 degrees. So, one of the angles is supposed to be 90 degrees, is, is obtained to be, not suppose, it is obtained to be 90 degrees, so hence the triangle is a right angled triangle. It is a, a right angled triangle, that is the right option. The next problem is before us. If one of the angles of an isosceles triangle is 120 degrees, r is root 3, small r is root 3, then the area of the triangle is, he likes to ask us the area of the triangle. What is the data? One angle is 120 given that it is an isosceles triangle. So, two of the angles are equal. One angle is 120 means the other angle, the other, other equal angle cannot be 120, isn't it? Isn't it? Well, so the remaining angles are, some of the remaining angles is 60. They are equal because it is isosceles. Each angle is 30 degrees. Well, and in radius is root 3 area of the triangle he is asking us to proceed let us first represent the data in a diagram we need a diagram look here Given that the triangle is an isosceles triangle, therefore the internal angular bisector of course coincides with the, the median also. So, D is the midpoint of BC. See, one angle is 120 degrees. So, if you consider these three angles, the total is 180. This is 30, this must also be 30. Well, Mary, there are so many ways to have the area of the triangle. Why? Because Observe the triangle, 120 degrees, 30 degrees, this total angle 30 degrees, but this is 15 degrees, this is the in center, 
and this is the in radius it is uh, a root 3 from triangle d i c what is cut 15 what is cut 15 no from triangle d i c what is cos 15 cos 15 degrees is equal to d c by root 3 therefore d c is equal to root 3 cos 15 from triangle ADC from triangle ADC what is tan 30 AD by DC therefore AD is equal to DC tan 30 but DC we know what is that root 3 into cos 15 so it is root 3 into cos 15 degrees into tan 30 degrees therefore this is a d well my dear we have half of the base half of bc is nothing but dc isn't it half of the base and this is the height therefore area delta is equal to half into bc into height a d so it is uh, dc into a d what is dc it is root 3 cos 15 root 3 cos 15 what is a d root 3 cos 15 root 3 cos 15 into tan 30 root 3 into root 3 3 cos 15 is root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 whole square so it is root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 whole square into tan 30 is 1 by root 3 so many square units is the right answer the next question is before us in a triangle abc c is equal to 90 hence it is a right angled triangle it is a right angled triangle you see so what is the circum radius c i am sorry what is the circum the circum center lies on the at the midpoint of the hypotenuse hypotenuse is nothing but c therefore this half of this is r so clearly c is equal to 90 implies 2r is equal to c one thing we have got and again what is small r small r is s minus a tan a by 2 s minus b tan b by 2 s minus c tan c by 2 you can write in three ways i am writing here r is equal to s minus c into tan c by 2 because the angle C is given to be 90. What is C by 2? 45. What is tan 45? 1. So it is S minus C into 1. Hence R is equal to S minus C. Well, we have got both the values for R, capital R and small r. Now you consider therefore 2 into R plus R is equal to 2 into R plus 2 into capital R. What is 2R? 2 into S minus C plus 2R. What is 2R? C. So it is 2S minus 2C plus C. What is 2S? A plus B plus C. A plus B plus C minus 2C plus C. C and C will be going away. Leaving you A plus B. What is the right option? It is A plus B. Here, the thing that must be noted is... 2R is nothing but C. You must be able to know. And moreover, as C is 90 degrees, uh, you have to choose the strategy in such a way that uh, angle C is supposed to be used. So that R can be taken as uh, S minus C into tan C by 2. That is uh, pi by 2 by 2. That is pi by 4. Tan pi by 4 is 1. Hence, in the place of R, you can have uh, S minus C. That's it.
In a triangle ABC, R1 is greater than R2 is greater than R3, then which of the following options is valid? Let us have a look over that. Given that, R1 is greater than R2 is greater than R3. What is R1? Delta by S minus A is greater than delta by S minus B is greater than delta by S minus C. Delta, area of the triangle, it is a positive number. So, I like to divide the throughout with delta so that 1 by S minus A greater than 1 by S minus B greater than 1 by S minus C. You reverse all of these. These are all of the same sign, positive, you know. Therefore, S minus A is less than S minus B is less than S minus C. And you subtract S on all the sides so that you have minus A less than minus B less than minus C, isn't it? And multiply with minus 1 all the, on all the sides so that you have A greater than B greater than C. So, what is the right option? A greater than B greater than C is the right option. That's it.